Hi everyone, it's Patricia from TarantulaHeaven.com and we have Miss Spidey who unfortunately is not above ground right now. She is hiding in her dark tunnel basement. Um, so I hope she'll come out, but I don't have much hope because she has honestly been loving the tunnel lately and every now and then she gets obsessed with a certain part of her tank and right now it's her underground tunnel. So you may not see her for a few videos. Um, but anyway, today I wanted to talk about uh, camel spiders. And if you have never seen a camel spider, you're missing out <laughs> because um, camel spiders are such a strange looking creature, but they're actually kind of cute in a way. Um, I remember watching a camel spider um, digging in somebody's YouTube video a while ago, and I thought it was like absolutely adorable. And so, um, yeah, these things look, look, they're kind of like a mix of beautiful, scary, and cute. And they actually look like maybe they could hurt you. So I was quite attracted to an article I saw about camel spiders in which the title was like, do something like, do camel spiders chase humans? And so I was like, I need to look into this. Um, if this is not true, which I'm sure it isn't, I must dispel this myth on my channel because it's really important to me that I continue to show people that spiders are not as scary as they're portrayed. So interestingly enough, so I'll share what I saw in this article and why or how this rumor came to be. So interestingly enough, camel spiders are not actually spiders. They're related to a group of arachnids that are actually between spiders and scorpions, but I suppose because they are so much like spiders that they're just considered arachnids. Um, there are actually quite a few rumors about these spiders. So one is that they can run up to 25 miles per hour, which if that were true, that would be terrifying. Um, that they can scream. I do not know how that came out. <laughs> I don't know how that got started. Um, that they are venomous and dangerous. And all of those are false. First of all, um, camel spiders, if they were to bite you, it would hurt because they have uh, quite sharp pincher thingies. Those look like that would be very painful. However, these spiders do not have venom. And the rumor that they have a tendency to chase people is mm, partially correct, actually, um, just in terms of how it looks. So the maximum speed cited in scientific sources is 10 miles per hour, which is actually kind of impressive <laughs> for spiders. And they are actually known for following people, or I guess chasing, if you want to call it like that, not because they are actually trying to get you. Camel spiders are a shade-seeking species. So they're actually after your shadow versus you. So if you come across a camel spider in the wild and you find that it's running after you, just allow it to, to use your shadow for shade for a second. It will not hurt you. As far as the rumor that they scream, there are some similarities to tarantulas here in that camel spiders do stridulate or have like those strid stridulating rubbing movements through certain parts of their body. Um, some people will notice that tarantulas, when they do this behavior, it'll make a sound. It's very similar with camel spiders. And also like tarantulas, camel spiders do use digestive juices to help them liquefy and digest their food. Despite them not actually being arachnids, there are quite a few similarities. And you know, most of the rumors are not quite true. And so I hope that this does spread some good information about, about these creatures being Yes, perhaps a little bit scary looking and unusual looking, but actually quite harmless and uh, creatures that have no ill intent towards humans. <laughs> so I actually don't know much about the husbandry of camel spiders, but I would be really interested to know if any of you have kept one because these creatures are actually pretty fascinated to, fascinating to me. Uh, every now and then I catch myself wanting to watch a, a video of them on YouTube. And so if you have any experience with this type of spider, please let me know. I don't think I'll ever get one, <laughs> but um, they do intrigue me. So anyway, I hope you've had a wonderful Tarantula Tuesday and a great week, and I'll see you next week.